Hello everyone and welcome back to your literacy videos. This is your literacy video with Miss Trini for Monday, May 18th, 2020. Can you believe we are halfway done with May? That's crazy. Wow, it's going to be summer before we know it. Before we get started with today's work, I want to do some shout outs from last week. You wrote some paragraphs, you worked with vocabulary last week, and you also learned about a new type of seahorse. So let's take a look at some of the work that scholars have sent in to your teachers, either me, Ms. Cherney, Ms. Javity, Ms. Rossi, or Ms. Marsh. And so if you did that, I went ahead and put you in the slideshow. So let's give some shout outs for these hardworking scholars. First off, we have Caden in DePaul. Say way to go, Caden. Look at his complete sentences. He even circled his article that tagged his noun. Quite impressed, Caden. Very nice job. Morgan in UC. Let's give Morgan two claps and two more. Nice job with your vocabulary, Morgan. And you too, Justin in UC. Let's give Justin some energy from our screen to his screen so he feels nice and loved for his vocabulary. We've got Kamaya in DePaul. Check out her paragraph written on a blank sheet of paper. Wow, Kamaya, very excellent job. I see that punctuation that you've included and I see your Right here, you have it s with the apostrophe S. That's nice. We've got Robert in DePaul with his information on pygmy seahorses and Zoe in DePaul with her vocabulary check. Let's see. We've got Zoe, Robert, and Kamaya. Let's pick a cheer for these three. Let's do, ooh, let's do little engines. Silent connection if you remember little engines. That's okay if you don't. We're going to do it two times so that you can remember it. It goes like this. Little engines up. One, two. I think I can. I think I can. Two, two. I did it. So let's do that one more time a little bit faster. Little engines up. One, two. I think I can. I think I can. Two, two. I did it. Very nice job with all of your hard work on last week's things. Also, I've been noticing so many of you have gotten fours on your literacy exit ticket about the work from last week. There are so many of you right now that I have to figure out an even better way to give y'all some shout outs. So before I do that, let's go ahead and dive right into our work for today. This looks like that. Notice my demonstratives that I have used here, <laughs> this and that. Now this work is for practicing some of the ideas that we've already gone over. It's like a quiz to practice writing down details and finding text features. Don't worry, we're going to do it together. First thing we have to do is read the text and then we will answer the questions. So here's our text. It's an informational text about whales. I'm going to read it once and then you are going to read it because we always read the question and the story two times. My turn first. Whales talk. Wait a second. I see an exclamation point right here. I should say it like this. Whales talk. Whales are noisy. Here's my topic sentence. This is gonna tell me that I think I'm about to read all about the different noises that whales can make. Whales are noisy. Whales make noise to communicate. <gasps> I was right. With other whales. Some whales talk to each other by squeaking, crying, or whistling. They can hear these sounds hundreds of miles away. The sounds are called whale songs. Ooh, so all of this squeaking and crying and whistling, that's the whale song, okay. Whales are the loudest animals on earth. Ooh, notice what we have right here. Let's change color for some grammar really quickly. We have EST, we know that means the most. So the most 
loud, just like shyest was the most shy. So whales are the loudest animals on earth. Go ahead now and reread this informational paragraph to yourself. I will meet you back here when you are finished. Nice reading, scholars. I'm quite impressed with your hard work sounding out tough sounds like communicate um, or hundred. So very, very nice. Now the next thing I've noticed is these are these drawings. We have some drawings down here that are diagrams of different whales. This is just like how you were drawing seahorses and labeling them. This page, however, notes the different type of whales. So you can see here, we have this whale, which is called a humpback whale. This whale is called a sperm whale. And this last one is a blue whale. So just like you were labeling things, they've labeled their picture. Now we also have this right here. We've practiced this a lot when we've talked about table of contents, but this is an index. It works almost just the same. An index tells us where we can find things. And this index shows different features of whales that we can learn about in this book. Your packet, I think, says seahorses right here. This word should be whales. It shows the page numbers where we can find certain kinds of information. The author includes the index so we know which pages have which kinds of information. So this is telling me that I might be able to find information on baby whales on page nine, or sounds that whales make on page 16. So now that we've taken a look at our information and text, let's dive into our questions. Question number one, what type of whale does the top illustration show? Let's read that two times. What type of whale does the top illustration show? Orca, humpback whale, or blue whale? Well, let's go find our top illustration. It's not this one, that's the bottom. It's this one at the top. Take a look at what kind of whale this is. Now let's match it with an answer choice. If you think it's A orca, circle A. If you don't think it's A orca, cross out orca. Humpback whale or blue whale? Make your choices now. Good, next. Number two, which text feature gives the answer to question one? Let's read that again together, starting with the word which on two, one, two. Which text, I do not have everybody reading with me. Try again, one, two. Which text feature gives the answer to question one? So to figure out this question, we need to go to question one, which is right here. And we need to tell them the text feature that gives the answer to question one. So the answer to question one was one of these types of whales. And what text feature did I use to figure out what that whale was called? What text feature did I use to figure out what the whale was called? It's not this one. And it's not this one, it's these over here. So let's figure out what this answer is. Is it A, heading, B, label, or C, index? What did you use to figure out what this whale was? Heading, label, or index? Mark your answers now. Cross out the ones that you know are not right. Very good. Number three, whales talk is one section of a book. Where in the book would you find information about the size of a whale? One more time, whales talk is one section of a book. Where in the book would you find information about the size of a whale? So let's go to our index and find where we talk about size. So what page in the index do we talk about size? 
Choose the correct answer for number three. Page 11, page 17, or page 15. If you need more time, you can always pause the video. Number four, which text feature gives the answer to question three? Let's read that one again together on two, one, two. Which text feature gives the answer to question three? Question three is this question. Which text feature gives us that answer? Is it heading, label, or index? What did we use to find that answer? What is this called? Go ahead and mark your choices now, A, B, or C. Pause the video if you need more time. Moving on, we are now going to think about the main topic and key details of our story. What do you think the main topic of the paragraph whales talk is? I'm going to give you a hint. The hint is in the name of the informational paragraph itself. Whales do what? What do they do? The main topic is whales and how they Try to fill in those blanks. If you need some extra help, remember what I underlined up here. I said whales are noisy. That was the topic sentence. What do we think the main topic of the whole paragraph is? Write it down in this area right by the box. Next, you're going to write two key details that support the main topic. Write them next to each button. These are just cuter little bullet points that you can use. Two key details that support the main topic. If you need help finding key details, think about our hamburger informational paragraph structure. You know that we can find key details in informational paragraphs. So it wouldn't be the topic sentence. And it wouldn't be the conclusion it would be somewhere in between. So if you need help finding your key details, you can look in the facts and data part of the paragraph right in here, I'm trying to circle it for you. There you go. It's not a great circle, but I'm trying my best. Okay, we're done with that page. If you need more time, by all means, please pause the video. Our last thing we are doing is writing the words in order from the softest to the loudest on the chart below. Softest to loudest. And I'm not going to tell you what those mean because we just went over what EST means at the end of a word. Softest to loudest on the chart. So you're putting these words in order from the softest to the loudest on this chart. So here would be the softest, here would be the loudest. Your words are crying, squeaking, whistling. And the last, what does the word communicate mean in the sentence, whales make noise to communicate with other whales? Let's read the question one more time. Read it with me on two, one, two. What does the word communicate mean in the sentence, whales make noise to communicate with other whales? So this is the word that we are looking for, the definition of. Let's plug in. Whales make noise to swim with other whales, whales make noise to talk with other whales, and whales make noise to jump with other whales. So we plugged it in. You can also use the outside in strategy. Look at the words outside of the word communicate. I see a word right here that might be able to help us. And then here's a phrase that might be able to help us. Which one of these options, swim, talk, or jump, helps explain how whales make noise to communicate with other whales? Would that be swimming, talking, or jumping? Okay. 
Now that you have had a chance to go over how to answer these questions, I am quite impressed with your work. Remember, if you need some more time, you could have always paused the video at any point. You can always go back and rewatch some of your favorite parts or parts that you need a little more time to think about. Very nice job. I will meet you back here for your Tuesday video. Have a really great Monday and I'll see you next time. Thank you everybody. Have a great day.